in a shocking scandal rocking the music industry, renowned producer and hip-hop mogul Sean Combs, also known as Puff Daddy or Diddy, is facing serious accusations from R&B singer Cassie, who was once signed to his label and romantically involved with him. The explosive lawsuit, filed in federal district court in Manhattan, alleges a decade-long pattern of control, physical abuse, and even rape. Cassie, whose real name is Cassandra Ventura, claims that shortly after meeting Combs in 2005 at the age of 19, he initiated a disturbing cycle of manipulation and mistreatment. The lawsuit details a harrowing narrative of Combs allegedly plying Cassie with drugs, subjecting her to physical assaults, and forcing her into explicit encounters with male prostitutes while recording the incidents. The most shocking revelation comes from an incident in 2018, where Cassie alleges that Combs forcibly entered her home and raped her, leading to the end of their tumultuous relationship. After years of enduring the alleged abuse in silence, Cassie has courageously decided to share her story. In a heartfelt statement, she expressed her readiness to speak up not only for herself but also for other women facing violence and abuse in their relationships. Combs, however, vehemently denies these serious allegations. His lawyer, Ben Braffman, asserts that Cassie had persistently demanded $30 million from Combs, threatening to write a damaging book about their relationship. Braffman claims that Combs rejected this as blatant blackmail and, despite Cassie withdrawing her initial threat, she has resorted to filing a lawsuit filled with what he calls baseless and outrageous lies to tarnish Combs's reputation. The legal battle takes an intriguing turn as Cassie's lawyer, Douglas Wigder, reveals that Combs offered a substantial sum, in the eight figures, to silence Cassie and prevent the lawsuit from being filed, an offer that Cassie rejected. This scandal adds Combs to the list of prominent men in the music industry facing sexual assault accusations, joining the likes of Steven Tyler, L.A. Reid, and Neil Portnoe. Combs, a central figure in hip-hop for decades, founded Bad Boy in 1993 and worked with iconic artists like the notorious B.I.G. and Mary J. Blige, amassing an estimated net worth of $1 billion. The lawsuit paints a disturbing picture of Combs as a controlling and violent figure alleging that he not only physically assaulted Cassie but also asked her to carry his gun and may have been involved in destructive acts, such as blowing up a rival suitor's car and dangling a friend of Cassie's over a hotel balcony. Furthermore, the court documents name additional defendants, accusing others who worked with Combs of aiding in Cassie's control and concealing his behavior. The lawsuit seeks unspecified damages. Cassie's narrative unfolds as she describes being drawn into Combs's jet-set lifestyle after signing with Bad Boy in 2006. The suit claims Combs exerted an extraordinary level of control over her life, influencing her career, providing for her financially, and even having access to her medical records. Allegations of drug use and violence punctuate the suit, with Cassie claiming that Combs supplied her with copious amounts of drugs, including ecstasy and ketamine, and subjected her to physical abuse multiple times each year. Despite the alleged mistreatment, Cassie never went to the police, fearing it would only provide Combs with another excuse to harm her. The suit details a particularly violent incident in Los Angeles in 2009, where Combs allegedly kicked Cassie in the face, causing her to bleed. Afterward, he had his staff bring her to a hotel room for a week of recovery, refusing her request to go home to her parents. Cassie's attempts to escape Combs's control are outlined in the lawsuit, revealing a cycle of manipulation and isolation. The court documents describe how she felt compelled to comply with Combs's demands, fearing the potential loss of her family, friends, career, or even her life if she said no. The narrative takes a bizarre turn as the suit alleges that in early 2012, Combs grew angry about Cassie dating rapper Kid Cudi, leading him to threaten to blow up Kid Cudi's car. Strangely enough, the suit claims that around the same time, Kid Cudi's car did explode in his driveway, confirming Cassie's account. In the later stages of their relationship, Combs allegedly coerced Cassie into engaging in a disturbing fantasy called voyeurism, where she was directed to have sex with male prostitutes while Combs watched took pictures, and shot videos. These events, referred to as freak-offs, involved costumes and took place at high-end hotels across the United States and in Combs's homes. Cassie claims she took drugs to dissociate during these encounters. The lawsuit contends that as a result of these sexual encounters in different cities, Cassie was a victim of sex trafficking. In addition to accusing Combs of sexual battery, sexual assault, and violations of New York City's gender-motivated violence law, the suit emphasizes the significant trauma Cassie is recovering from. Several disturbing accounts of violence, including an incident in 2016 where Combs allegedly punched Cassie in the face during a freak-off at a Los Angeles hotel, further underscore the gravity of the allegations. Security cameras at the hotel captured the incident, but the lawsuit claims that Combs paid the hotel $50,000 for the footage. 
the court filing culminates in the most serious allegation, that in 2018, after a dinner meeting, Combs forced himself into Cassie's apartment and raped her while she repeatedly said no and tried to push him away. This traumatic event marks the breaking point, leading Cassie to leave Combs for good. Following the alleged abuse, Cassie married Alex Fine, a personal trainer, in the following year and now has two young children. Her association with Bad Boy reportedly ended in 2019. Ms. Ventura's case is being brought under the Adult Survivors Act, a New York law that allows victims of sexual abuse to file civil suits after the statute of limitations has expired. The one-year window to bring cases under this law ends next week, adding urgency to Cassie's decision to speak up. In a poignant statement, Cassie emphasizes the importance of the Adult Survivors Act and her opportunity to speak up about the trauma she has experienced, intending to contribute to her recovery for the rest of her life. This unfolding scandal has captivated the public's attention, shining a spotlight on the dark underbelly of the music industry and leaving many eagerly awaiting the legal proceedings that will determine the truth behind these disturbing allegations.